I'm here at the Small Business Expo and I'm talking to uh, Martin, who's Managing Director and Elaine, who's the Sales Manager for iPayroll. iPayroll is a um, SaaS-based payroll package. Um, I'll get Martin to explain what it is that you do. Um, iPayroll is an online software as a service solution for small businesses who look to find a solution to pay their payroll and pay their staff quickly and on time. Our byline is fully secure, totally confidential. And we rode the wave of um, just after Y2K when the internet started to become more pervasive with um, the general public and the rise of internet banking. We released my payroll around at the same time, uh, 2001, and have been growing exponentially ever since. And, um, and your users um, really like the product, they like the fact that it saves them time and money, is that what they're reporting? But basically, the uh, majority of our customers tell us that they want to get on with doing their business, what they do, whether it's a florist or an accounting service or a um, travel agency, engineering, whatever, up and down the country. Yeah gives them the opportunity to access their payroll records, do their payroll and get on the business. So it saves them time, saves them money. So apart from the, um, the, the fact that it's accessible remotely, what would you say are the advantages of other SaaS products as opposed to the store applications? Oh, well, there's a lot of advantages and I suppose it depends which way people sort of want to deal with things. But traditionally, the software has been on a laptop or desktop, um, but uh, there are issues of you have to be in the location or you have to take regular software upgrades to keep the product current. Uh, and a lot of tech legislation changes in the last four or five years in particular, which has uh, put a lot of pressure on uh, small businesses to upgrade to software packages. Just replacing computers on a sort of regular basis, so all of that disappears with uh, online services. All of the back office function is provided through what we do on our own platforms. We upgrade the software, it's always current for the customer. Now, Elaine, I see that you've, you've recently um, just popped um, up with Zero, the um, first accounting package. Um, you're, you're, a, you're a provider and you link in with your API. Um, what's the benefits do you see from, from that partnership? Well, definitely for the Zero, it's obviously taken huge market, as mentioned, in the last seven weeks, and have a substantial number of clients. And Zero have come in and got quite a lot of their clients now using um, the online accounting. That way, we can interface and just move through very Smooth move on the payroll into the accounting side as opposed to having to choose the package. Right. Now, I've, I've had a look at your offerings, and um, also, when looking at Xero compared to iPayroll, um, clearly Xero is, is um, in terms of its design and its interface, it's quite, it's quite cutting edge, um, Web 2.0, for want, want of a better word. iPayroll, and it's not a criticism, it's just an observation, it seems to be quite um, distinct and, 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 and maybe more old fashioned. Old fashioned approach, and, um, and I, I absolutely agree that it's all about um, the solution, it's about doing a job. But um, how do you feel about that, about that interface, interface issue, and the fact that it is quite. Um, do you, do you have reports that the customers say that it kind of turns them off from, from, from using the product because it's maybe a little bit clunky? Actually, they're not really. Well, how people see something is very personal, but really our approach, we don't talk to the young operators, we talk to the small and medium business owners, all their personal is what they And it's about helping them, it's about the old growers really help this. We talk them through it so they're not just working in a vacuum. I find the advantage of things on the internet is that our customers can see the same screen at the same time as us. And once they've been trained, it's really four basic steps. They open a pay, they enter changes, they print it, they wish to print something, and then they can print it. Well, just on those points, with the um, usability aspect of it, it's not something that I can ever recall having been brought up by our customers, except possibly in the areas of um, communications, clients, or possibly IT clients. But then one will say one thing and the other one will say the exact opposite. So it's very much a courses for courses approach. It's not an issue though that our general customers uh, ever refer to. All we have here is we love using our payroll. We love the solution, we love the time it saves us. So, and we, we commend uh, Rod and his team for what they've done.
done with Zero and they have been up there with the latest and greatest you know, usability and how it looks. Um, we've, we've got very much a solution based um, service with us and uh, we're constantly evolving and changing and updating and refreshing. But uh, fundamentally it's all about the, the solution as you mentioned before and what it provides to those customers. Okay, and just one final question. I guess um, a, a lot of small businesses that, that aren't particularly web savvy would have some concerns moving from an installed payroll application to, a, to an on-demand hosted one. Just those questions around security, data security, access, where it's hosted, those sorts of things. What do you provide in that? In that? Um, well, I'm not the technical expert in this area, but um, my people tell me that we use the same encryption technology that the major banks use, which, as I understand it, is a number like one, 28K encryption technology and those sorts of things. So I assume that if it's good enough for the banks, uh, it seems to be good for our customers as well. Well, um, thanks for your time and best of luck. No, thank, thank you. you.